Tuesday, November 21st, let's play the Collector Booster Box game. Will I get $230 for 12 packs of Standard? No, I never do. It never works. Why do I have to keep doing this? You keep watching though, the views are there, so I'm eternally trapped. Thank you. All right, I am just going to open this box up and tell you my guesses for card prices. My editors will show you the actual prices and you can have a good laugh at how disconnected from reality this disheveled and according to my dietitian, dehydrated, severely dehydrated old man is. Apparently I'm supposed to drink six, six of these a day. And apparently I'm supposed to pay $230 for 12 packs of standard. Wh which of those two statements is less believable to you? Apparently it can't be LaCroix or bourbon. Oh my God. Well, I'm one third of the way there. And it's only 3.30. Oh my God. But hey, it's happy holiday time at the Tolarian Community College merch store where you can buy Tolarian Community College play mats, shirts, coffee mugs, and other cool items. We recently got a shipment of some of the surplus Kickstarter merch. So this is just a small supply of leftover product that was produced for the campaign. It is on hand and ships immediately. Perfect for your holiday gift giving. Check it out, we have the Sizomorph dividers which you can use with any deck box to keep cards from sliding around. Or these awesome Tolarian Community College crest counters and other swag. Just go to www.tolariancommunitycollege.com forward slash store and pick up your holiday TCC merch today and you'll be supporting the channel when you do and it, it ships immediately, yay. All right, let's see how wrong I am about card prices, huh? All right, Lost Caverns of Ixalan Collector Booster Box. I paid actually $230 for this, and there's really not anything other than Cavern of Souls that's worth much in here. Now, I didn't look over prices too in, in depth today or yesterday. I'm going off of what I've seen on the market. We did the regular booster box game. If you haven't seen the regular booster box game, interesting video, check it out. But I think that the real money card, as I recall from the pricing there, now this has cards and treatments that are not in set booster packs. Ooh, we get a box topper. But the real money card is Cavern of Souls. That's what we're hunting for. We get a Cavern of Souls. I think that justifies the $230. I'm gonna zoom in here. Do this. Movie magic. You can edit or leave that little part in. Just have gone on me. You see my little gestures. Movie magic. Here we go. Lost Cavern of Souls. I love box toppers. I don't know why box toppers are not in every set. I really don't. Let's see what our box topper is. And I'll be honest with you, given all the variations in collector booster boxes, I'm not entirely sure which are the box topper treatments, which aren't, or the, if there are exclusive. It's very hard. People sometimes say it's me. Temple Bell, okay. I don't believe this is worth much at all. Pretty, full art, super art. Colors are a little muted. I kind of wish there was a little more vibrancy, but that wish is about to be granted. Some of these cards, I'm going to wish there was a little less color. Could maybe do a little mix and match. I'm going to say Temple Bell, uh, foil, full art like this. What is that, like $4.95? I doubt it was $4.95. It's probably $0.45, cents, but I say $4.95. We're going to do the whole prof counter pack counter. Ooh, these are, wow, sealed up there. Okay, riddle me of this Batman. We got a bat token at the back. So we are starting with some ancestors aid of uh, foil. Are those commons or uncommons? Oh, and look at this. Can you zoom in, editor? There is crimp in there. 
the top, but not the good kind. For all I know, that was me struggling to open the pack. And I damaged this possibly common or uncommon. I think these are commons. That set symbol makes it a little tough. There's no value in, oh yeah, definitely common if it's dead weight and hidden necropolis. So there's no value in these. We're just looking, we're not doing here. Do, do the price on enterprising scullywag. As you can see, that is why we are not doing it. It's after we get here to the QR code. So the QR code is here and the QR code is worth, I think $2 is what the QR code is worth. Lovely little QR code. I believe when you uh, QR code that, you get a uh, Magic Arena wild card or something like that. No, I'm just kidding. It's lands. Looks like a looks like a QR code. I don't think it's bad looking. It just doesn't look really like a land. Ah. So after the QR code, we've got uh, Nick and Zill, and I can't read the rest of it. Nick and Zill Curry Do Duct Curduct Curduct. All right, there it is. It's a moy folk. It's a moy folk. Love it. Uh, but I don't think there's uh, any value in that either. Did we put the value up on screen? Awakening. That's our rare. Two two thirty-five. Two thirty-five. All right, Tarian Soul Cleaver. It's stretchy art. It's non-foil. Eh. What is this? This is. Another, like, 96 cent card. Master of Dark Rites. Now that's some nice looking art. Not foil. Uh, this is, again, the kind of, uh, I can't even tell anymore. Which, each sacrifice we step closer to the age of ever flowing blood. So I get to Dark Rit by sacrificing a creature, but I can only use it on vampire cleric and or demon spells this is this is 30 cents all right there we got a lot of color there's where all our color budget went we used all the inkjet color on these bringer of the last gift better make it cost eight enters the battlefield sacrifice all other creatures they control blah 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 six six this is no good this is a dollar or less is that foil it's not even foil all right command tower and it's it's it got the jurassic park symbol but is that Ixalan art or is that Jurassic Park? Looks like that could be Ixalan art. Who can even tell anymore? It's all the same thing. Uh, it's a dollar or less, right? All right. Here, of course, we have Matzalanthi. And I don't think that there's much value here either. I feel like just saying, well... Draw a card and then discard a card. We can transform it. What's the transform do? Legendary land. Add X mana of any one color where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. Uh, 350. And then there's our double-sided token. So I don't think there was much value in that pack at all. I think this was maybe, what? $10 or less pack is my guess. 10 bucks. And I wouldn't pay 10 bucks for that. That's the truth. Not a very good collection of cards. Let's hope we get better stuff here. Maybe that Merfolk I didn't realize is some $35 card, but I doubt it. I doubt very much that Merfolk was a $35 card. These collector boosters are really sealed. I don't want to damage the cards inside, but my goodness, we are on to pack two. Uh, is it a good thing or a bad thing that cards are costing No more than $20. It's good for singles, bad for packs, bad for wanting to crack packs and get value. And it's an interesting balance. Um, you have to have some value in what you're cracking, but you don't want cards to be prohibitively expensive. There was a time where standard required play sets of, well, thanks to Shieldred, that time is now, but there was a worse time where there was uh, a lot of high priced cards in standard and it, it made it prohibitive to get into. Now nobody plays standard. Are the two connected? I don't know about that. Here's our uh, QR code there. And I, I think all of these, I don't know, we, we can show the price editor when we go through each of them. Uh, my thing has always been that these full art foil lands are should usually be in the range of two bucks. 
and I'm just gonna say my guess on them is two bucks. But here's an interesting thing that I'm gonna point out about the Collector Booster, is we've gotten to a point, all these cards that we just went through, all of this is nothing. Like, this is no value. Show it, no value. This is no value. Sorry, editor, but show it. This is no value. Sorry, editor, but show it. None of these cards, unless I'm really embarrassing myself now, are worth a damn thing. But look at all that we're going through in the Collector Booster. Junk, 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 and more junk. Why is it even in? This is $230 for 12 packs. And then here, we got our foil full art land. But now that this is such a standard thing, I don't even think that's two bucks. So here we go. Uh, we got uh, here our uh, Akawali. Akawali. The Seething Tower. And uh, this is a fungus. I believe this is one of the commander cards uh, out of the commander decks, but you know, there's so much stuff I'm not even entirely sure. Legendary creature, fungus. I don't think this is in the main set, but it's in the collector boosters. Price on this, foil, four bucks, right? Cause you can't, if I'm correct that you can only get it in foil here, that'd be the reason. But I don't know that that matters as much anymore as it did. Restless Anchorage. All right, we got our land. Pretty nice. I'm gonna say $5 for a land. And foil at that. Threefold Thunder Hulk. Enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. Blah, 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 blah. 99 cents. Cause you better make it cost seven. Ah, now I know that's a commander only because it's good old Huckball of the Surging Soul. Alternate art, the merfolk I played on game nights that you can check out. Good old Hawkball. Alternate, it's the most powerful merfolk. This is a $10 card. There we go, the best merfolk commander made in, in forever. And Malcolm. Malcolm Scoundrel. There's something there, behind there, but apparently that doesn't matter anymore, so it's just Malcolm Scoundrel. Uh, I, I didn't used to care that much about this, but they've done it so much in so many directions with just text being meaningless on cards that now I'm hypersensitive to it. And so in the past, this type of a obscuring of the text wouldn't bother me as much as it does now, but it's just gotten so out of control. I'm starting to have this kind of zero tolerance physical reaction to it where I'm just like, it, it bothers me. I don't like it. And I'm gonna say this is a 99 cent card. Command tower and foil. What did I say? The other one was uh, non-foil was 99 cents. I was probably wrong about that. So I'm gonna say this one is 99 cents. Bridge from below. Oh, we got ourselves a card that's actually uh, uh, got some, some relevance for other formats there. This is a good one. This is a good one, good old bridge. Alternate art, full art, 750? And the fungus among us. So here's my point. Looking at this, this is good, this is good. We got a couple good commanders uh, and a land, and I guess that's good, all right? And then our full art. All the rest of this, I think, is junk. The rest of this pack is all junk. So you're really just getting these cards here. So what's this worth to you? Well, you know, Malcolm, I don't think is much. These are both in commander pre-cons. We're getting some alternate art, this one in foil, this one not. I don't even know if that's really a $5 land. Command Tower is great. It's Jurassic Park. It doesn't look like, I don't know. I didn't see Jurassic Park 18 or whatever they're up to. And then we got one card that maybe someone out of Commander might like, or unless they banned it, and I don't remember them banning it, I don't know. Did they ban it? Is that worth, uh, what's the price of a pack, 20 bucks or whatever? I don't think so. And I don't think other people do, even though it's selling for that. So I think that's, I don't know. But total value of that is not $20. Maybe that's, you know, guess on the pack value there. $14.95. The problem is, as I say what the cards are, what I think they're worth, nothing, nothing. Well, you can see them, pirate hat. Arr, matey, be a pirate hat. No value on any of these foil commons or uncommons. You get to the land, it's another swamp. I don't particularly like this design, even though I will acknowledge it's pretty, but I, I think we're getting to a point where it's just like, 
Magic cards can look so much like anything now that they look like nothing. Do you know the phrase that when you make a product for everyone, you make a product for no one? I think magic art has gotten so out of control, especially due to secret layers, but the fact that even within booster packs for regular sets, it's just so it can be anything or a movie or whatever, that it has this numbing effect. Uh, someone joked to me, oh, wow, prof, I bet it gets your blood pressure uh, 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 rising. And I said, nah. I just kind of tune it out like white noise now. And I think blood pressure rising is good. That's when I, I, I had more, oh, this this matters. And now it's just like, okay, it, magic cards can be anything. A good old thrashing Brontodon. We can sacrifice it to destroy target artifact or enchantment. That's great. But this, this is 68 cents. Just shy of nice. Ah, Sahili, the sun's brilliance. Great card in foil. This is a great magic card. Um, we talked about this in one of our videos. I really like this card a lot, and I think this is very good for Commander. I'm gonna say this is because of that. I like to feel like a good Commander and foil. Good price of that is like eight, nine bucks. I'm gonna say 8.99, right? Corpses of the Lost. It gives skeletons for my good old skeleton deck. Plus one, plus zero, and haste. Well, a card like that's got to be worth a whole dollar thirteen. Don Andres, the Renegade. Yeah, another good commander. There we go. Now we're cooking. Oh my God, there's talk about. Oof. Uh, that's a lot of color. See all the color. I feel well. This one's good. I like the color in this. I just feel like some of the cards are a little too stone colored, if you know what I mean. Maybe I'm not good for judging art, uh, but it feels like some of them are a little too colorful versus no color. This is a good amount of color. Prof says good color here, and Don Andres is definitely a $5 card. Uh, Tishana's Tidebinder, great card. Definitely value. I'd say this Merfolk w Wizard, uh, I think this is a really good card. And I think this card is deserving. It's a rare. This is also the good artwork. Well, the alternate artwork. Um, full art. It's not foil. $12? Oh my god. It's really out of place. Dino DNA. <sighs> yeah. No, it doesn't make my blood pressure rise. It just makes me kind of dead inside. Dino DNA. Um, blah, 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 blah. There we go. $3.99. Ah, Polani's Hatcher. There's a good one. It's in foil, full art. Dinosaurs. I think this card is probably a good, good $2.50. And there we go. My guess for the pack, the big thing is Tishana's Tidebinder. What is this? Another, is this really $14 pack? Yeah, I'll say it, but I don't. I won't believe it in my heart. I don't know what's causing Lost Caverns to feel a little more underwhelming than Eldrain. I think they came out a little too close to one another, and that there's just so many products in between. A lot of it is that white noise effect, and I think that we're suffering from the ability to just tune out too much magic product. Maybe that's me. They say that creators such as myself have to focus on all of it, but I'm not. I'm having trouble keeping it all straight in my head. Forest. Ah, there we've got our great Zoyowa Lava Toe. Lava Toe. Our Lava Toe has Death Touch. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, it's pretty cool legendary. It's in foil here, an alternate artwork from the Commander decks. Yeah, that's a that's a 225. Magmatic Galleon. That is not. That is definitely down there in the 75 cent range. Now the, here's a good one. Growing rights of Itlamok. We got some new artwork. It's not in foil. That's a 999 card, right? Flip it over to this Itlamok Cradle of the Sun, right? I mean, come on, this is practically like getting a reserve list card. Though not really. $9.99. Topography Tracker. 
Another Merfolk. Another map token. Another one. Here we got the stretchy art, but I don't think this is particularly... This is this goes great, by the way, if you haven't seen how well this goes. Or is she there? Or he, sorry. With uh, Hawkball, the Surging Soul. That's a hell of a combo right there. And since that's a hell of a combo, five bucks. Boom! Restless Vents. Uh, it's the land again, and I kind of feel like lands, good $5 range. I don't know if any of these lands is a big chase one, but I'm just gonna be saying like a flat $5 guess at lands, foil or non-foil, prices have merged anyway, five bucks uh, for the Restless Vents, you know? Oh, and then we've got a, a Jurassic Park land. Are these worth $2? That's, that's how I feel. I feel like full arts are $2 products and uh, special new lands are five these days, unless there's, they're actually played lands, in which case they'd be 10. But here, Restless Anchorage, we're once again gonna say five bucks. That's my feeling on lands. It's pretty. Do I think this is a really good one? Uh, that enters tapped, so no. The dinosaur egg token with a dinosaur. That's what it hatches into. All right, total pack value there. We got the Growing Rights of Itlamok was a good one. Was that a $16, $16.50 pack? Do you buy booster boxes of collector boosters or do you just like pick one up at the store? I wonder how much people just do that. Pick one up at the store. We're gonna be shifting over to play boosters. If you haven't seen my video on play boosters, I've got a lot of thoughts on that. Uh, I'm not too excited for them. It's the correct move, but it's hard to get excited over a critical fix to a mistake that they should have seen coming. So they're gonna make drafting more expensive. So that sucks. Island, two bucks. Oh, actually, islands should be more money than the non-islands. We're gonna say three bucks, three bucks for the island. All right, uh, we got uh, Bartolme uh, del Presidio. This is a nice little commander, uncommon. Sacrifice another creature or artifact. Yeah, that's not too good. That's in foil. 238. Braided net. Now this is a cool one because it flips into uh, our braided kipu. Braided kipu. Draw a card for each artifact you control, then put braided kipu into its owner's library, third from the top. I don't know that there's much here. Buck 99. Sunken Citadel. Now, when I talked about my land policy, that does not apply to the non-colored lands. Uh, this lets me choose a color, add two mana if we're spending it to activate abilities of land sources. Maybe because this is an interesting effect, this might be 275. My estimates are very low for this uh, set. Redemption Choir. And this, I think, is... Uh, 83 cents. Bone Whore Dracosaur, a mythic flying first strike. Now we're cooking. The beginning of your upkeep, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play them this turn. Hmm. If you exile the land this way, create a 3 1 red dinosaur creature. This is a good card. This is a 5 5 for 5 with all these added benefits. I'm going to say it's $5.99. There we've got a Jurassic Park land. It's an island. Three bucks. No way this is through. This is a dollar. Three bucks. It's not even. This is a dollar. Three bucks. It's a dollar. The belligerent. That's it's my namesake. It's me. People thought they named Tolarian uh, uh, Contempt after me. There's also the belligerent. Uh, this is another. This is a five five for four. So we're going to say it's four fifty. Part of the problem is just that standard doesn't exist anymore. But another part of the problem is that other formats don't see that much paper play either. So it's kind of a commander or nothing. But commander is the format where you're most likely to uh, proxy or even where good cards aren't needed if they're not an every deck card like Dockside. You get cards like Dockside that have the real value. But then if you get a card that's like, for example, Hawkball may indeed be one of the best 
merfolk commanders, but if you're not playing merfolk, who cares? So that might cause Hawkball not to have much value, if that makes sense. Whereas Dockside, everybody needs it. So again, land, two bucks. Uh, Scythe Claw Raptor. This is nothing. Um, I mean, I guess that's all right. Four damage is a lot. That's good in Commander. It's from the Commander Precons. If it's not their turn, it deals four damage to them. I mean, it's like an Eidolon. Uh, it lets them do it. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna say that's uh, about 350. Jade Like Spelunker. Another Merfolk. It's a rare, but when Jade Light Spelunker enters the battlefield, it explores X times. X is pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna say that's uh, $2.99. Pretty cool card, pretty good, pretty good. There's Braided Net again, what did I say last time? What did I say last time? Can Prof remember what he said last time? I think I said this was a no-go. No I think I, I did not have faith in, in it. So, gosh, I don't remember what I said last time. <laughs> did I say it was a couple of bucks? Or Rich Stalactite. Add red, spend this mana only to cast an instant or sorcery spell. Uh, this is like 50 cents. Hulking Raptor at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase. Add double green, but it costs me four. It's a five three, it's got ward. It's dece, but I think this is unfortunately another 50 cent rare. There's our Jurassic Park land in foil. Show me $2. Oh no, there it is again. Oh. That's the problem with these two is like, if I am opening for commander, I've now got three of them and I don't want to run any of them, but $3 in foil since we finally got the foil one, but I don't think it's even that. All right, no caverns so far and, and none of our cool uh, O'Hares either. I like those those O'Hares. Those are also, if you haven't seen my best new commanders, so we did both, by the way. Best new commander cards for the 99 and best new commanders where we give these cool deck techs. It's kind of like five deck techs in one, but it's more like a deck overview of like, this is how we build and other cards from other sets that have synergies. It's a really cool video. You should check that one out if you haven't already as we go through our fat stack of not very valuable commons. And at this point, I'd say we're at about, well, let's finish this. And I'm gonna make my prediction because this is our, uh, this is our halfway point. So actually at this point with nothing added, I'm gonna say, so we're six packs in to our $230 booster box. And my guess is 50 to 60 bucks worth of value. And if it's less than that, that's embarrassing. And if it's more than that, it's embarrassing just for me and being this disconnected from card price reality. And I think we're at about 50, 60 bucks. And I'll be honest with you looking at this, if you came to me and you said, yeah, there you go, 50 bucks. I'd say, oh, you're out of your goddamn mind. <laughs> and yet I paid 230 for this. Earthshaker Dread Mob, boo. This card, I am I am totally giving the value of, of uh, even though it is I actually really like that art. Beautiful art, foil, full art, super art treatment. But because of the fact that this is not a colossal Dreadmaw and, and they had the audacity to Earthshaker Dreadmaw it, I am giving this the most, most unnice 30 cents. Boom, Sentinel of the Nameless City, 99 cents. Boom, Sentinel of the Na Nameless City, 99 cents. I bet the foil, Here's what I bet, even if I'm wrong about this being 99 cents, I bet the value of both these cards is more or less identical, despite the fact this is regular foil and this is stretchy art foil. I bet you the prices shown are essentially the same. And I think that price, 99 cents. Skeleton crew, cool. Each other creature you control that's a skeleton or pirate gets plus one, plus one. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's, it's $2.30. Lonnie's Hatcher, already had that one. Oh, oh, we got him. We got there. We got Jeff Goldblum in foil and full art. There he is. Can you imagine He's telling your past self this is what magic is? Gotta be 9.99. 
got to be a $9.99 card, right? Definitely. $9.99. Boom. There he is. All right. And the, the subterranean schooner. Foil. Stretchy art. Uh, $0.28. Cents. Boom. And now we've gone from $50 to $60 to... $70, 60 to $70, just basically, so far I think like like our biggest cards, <laughs> not much, I don't think. Maybe maybe we're at this huge value, but I, I don't think we're there. I do not think we are there. All right. <sighs> Go through these lovely commons. People still play Popper. I haven't done too many videos on Popper lately, but I do still play it and still love it. Problem is, is now you can play standard in paper for the cost of a few Popper decks. The trouble is, is finding a standard event. Boy, they sure did a great job when they announced last year they were gonna revitalize standard, didn't they? $2 is my statement on all foil. Full arts that are not island. Dargo, the shipwrecker. It's a giant pirate. And then you better make it cost seven. But I say 70 cents. 70 cents. Restless ridge line. Five bucks. Shade light spelunker. Again. There they go. Deep root historian. That's a nice card. Merfolk and Druid cards in your graveyard have Retrace. Very cool. Very cool. I think this is going to be, I don't know, about $3. Ooh. Amalia. Very cool. This is a great commander. Great new card in general. I actually think a lot of decks are going to want to run uh, her in the 99. And I think because of that, we're gonna say 9.99, which is what I like to ascribe to a really cool legendary, really cool art, really cool combos you can do with this. Very nice. Oh, Newman getting killed. Hello, Newman getting killed. You're only $7. No, this is not a $7. I take it back. I take it back. This is, this is a $2 and seven cents. Oh my God. Hey, there's another one I like with adventure, no less. Adventure is a fun mechanic, isn't it? Kellen, daring traveler. Beautiful, $4.99. All right, total value, we got four packs left. Total value, did we crack $100 yet? I don't think so. My prediction is we have not cracked $100. Is this a good or bad thing? Oh, wow, look at how there's this right here. And I wonder what the card is. I'm just gonna sh look. There's a divide here and it's because of this card and this card, right between Thousand Moon Smithy and Captain Storm something else there behind the hat. Why bother? Just, why even have it? Ugh. All right. I don't know why it's weirdly separating there. That's strange. I'm not doing anything with my hands. It's just kind of, this is a foil and she is a foil too. All right. Um, I think that if standard were being played, this would be a good thing, but it isn't being played. And if it were being played, I don't think the prices would necessarily be this low. I don't, I'm getting sick of people saying, well, this is great because it makes things like standard affordable because who plays standard? All right, Captain Storm, Captain Storm. Uh, she's a really cool commander, works with artifacts. Here's foil, some other art, $4.99. And then the Thousand Moon Smithy is the cool uh, artifact that turns into Barracks on the Thousand. That's a lot of text. 
I'm not reading all that, but I'm saying $6.99. Stalactite Stalker, Goblin Rogue, three bucks. Contest of Claws. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to another target creature. If excess damage was dealt this way, discover X, where X is the excess damage. All right, that's, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, that's two bucks. All right, we got our first O'Hare. The one of deepest growth. Ah, get together. Kalsem. Uh, this is a really cool one. I really like it. In green, do some crimes. $13.99. $13.99. Not foil, though. Permission denied. Hello, Newman. Again. This is such weird art. Wow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you didn't say the magic word. It's good. Let's say $7. Commission Confluence. I don't think this one's there. You can choose three for five. That's pretty good. Green, do things. $3.99. All right, we're down to three packs. At this point, I think we've cracked 100 bucks. I think we're gonna probably get maybe to half what I paid for this box. Go through our commons. Yeah, I feel that Lost Caverns had a lot of anticipation. Maybe it was also that coming off of uh, Eldraine, which really was a hot set. I think that there was a lot of anticipation, but then it was more like you've had too big a meal and dessert comes and you're just kind of disinterested. I don't know. I feel that Caverns is not resonating as, as, as much, but that's very perception-based. People are maybe still reeling from Commander Masters. Here we got our firstborn. And I think that Eats Keenth is probably in the vicinity of just, well, it's a good card. But I think this is more 250, 250. Beautiful art, very neat. Maybe that's it, maybe it's that you've got with the, the trend towards creature types that it's just kind of, there is a repetitiveness to it and an Eldraine, which obviously had creature types, but it felt like each car card was artwork of a singular thing. And I feel like a lot of the dinosaur arts blend together, the vampire arts, even the merfolk arts, actually, especially the merfolk arts all blend together. Warden of the Inner Sky, uh, this is a pretty good card, but it's only about two bucks. Stable Glyph Bridge. Uh, it's one of the double-sided lands. It is not in foil. And this one in white, I think, is only about a buck fifty. Ah, Xavier Sal, infested captain, a cool little commander, or part of your proliferate matters deck. Three, three for three. Yeah, I think this is a good little uh, 4.99 card. Restless Ridge Line. You know the rule we have about in the lands, five bucks, followed by one buck, followed by Malcolm again, who I said a buck to. This time he's in foil, but I think he's still a buck. Buck 13, buck 13, you know what I mean. Two packs left. Sometimes on these things, I feel like I'm gonna be way off, but I think this is one where I've set way too high prices. I think that this is, before you say, Professor is disconnected, this is very, we, I intentionally for these episodes try and be not fully up to date. Like I don't sit and read TCG player listings of prices or go on eBay or Card Kingdom or Cool Stuff Inc. and, and, and start, being, ah, these are the prices. I try and come into it this is where I kind of learned them. And so a lot of it is gut instinct towards cards, but I think I've been way overestimating value this episode in particular, because I just don't think that the value is there. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've been underestimating, but I doubt it. I doubt it. And because of that, I'm gonna say 
that this great, this is, does that say great mistake? Does that say great mistake or great misrake? Probably mistake. Mis, misrake? Uh, mistake! Mistake. I'm going to say this mistake is a 13 cent card. Deep Root Pilgrimage. Great one for Merfolk. 99 cents in foil. Kite Cell Larcenist. 299. Bygone Marvels. Descend 8. That's good. Um, it's not 8 bucks though. It's 2. <coughs> Pardon the cough. Editor, edit that cough out just flawlessly so no one saw it, but I started moving. Never mind. Uh, here we go. Another cool commander. Another cool commander art style. Uh, I think that... I think that uh, Anim is probably in that $3 range. Up, oh, Jurassic Park. I think this is 63 cents. Restless Prairie. In foil. You know what? We're going to go so high as to say this is $6. Boom. We did not get a Cavern of Souls, and we only got one O'Hare. All right, comes down to this. Will there be a cavern in it? No. Will there be an O'Hare in it? Yes. Will it be the same O'Hare we already cracked? Yes. Let's find out. I think there's just too many sets, everyone. I think that it's just being overproduced. And there's not a lot of things to do with it outside Commander. And Commander is such a casual format, it doesn't create as big a need. The Commander decks were great, by the way, for this set, though. So, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? And now we got Ravnica Remastered, which at least I'm excited, if nothing else, than to draft it. Though I hear prices are going to be high on it. But as of the filming of this video, I do not know the price. All right. Our Sunborn Legendary Creature. 23 cents, even in foil. Nah, 43. Let's go up to 43. All right, there is Anim again. The thousandth moon. Nah, it's only the second time, not the thousandth time. Uh, what did we say for the last one? Shoot. I thought like $2.99, right? I'm going to stick with that. I think that, well, it's a cool uh, card that it's in that range. Sanguine Evangelist. Now, this is a good one. This is definitely $1.50. And it has a little little damage there. Nope, it's just dirt or something. Never mind, no damage. Order of the Sacred Dusk. Better make it cost eight. It has Convoke, though, so that's great. Does a whole bunch of things. Gives other vampire creatures exalted. But if I've got a whole bunch of vampires, I don't want them to have uh, exalted. Now, do I? And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to say this is a buck ninety-nine. Molten Collapse. Choose one. If you descended this turn, you may choose both instead. Eh, 40 cents. Island. So I've been saying like a buck for the non foil Jurassic Lands. Buck 50. Nah, $2. Ooh, Blood Letter. Very lovely artwork. Blood Letter of Aklazots. Neat little demon. Go ahead and say $3.13. And there we go. Very, very underwhelming box. So I look at this right here, and I know that I paid $230 for it. <laughs> $230 for this. Oh my gosh. Uh... Total value on this box. Oh my God. I don't know. $113 is my guess. And I would, I don't know that I would even pay that for this because $113, I could get a draft booster box and I could do so much more with the draft booster box. And I've got a chance at a lot of cool cards in there too. And I don't really care about those Jurassic Park cards. Do I? And I don't really care. Like, I think that was probably one of the more valuable ones 
And then the other one was Growing Rights of Itlamok, which was a reprint. So that's that's not a good thing. And then the, the one O'Hare we got. That's the highlights that I can remember. We got a couple of the commander uh, cards from the, the things, but there we go. Let's see how close I am. Yeah, hey, so we didn't get there. There's a shock. Uh, colored me shocked. Are you shocked? Was, was this even the booster box game or is it just I open a collector booster box? I don't even know anymore. But remember, if you're looking for Talarian Community College playmats, Sizomorph dividers, TCC crest counters, coffee mugs. Hey, we got cool Talarian Community College dice bags and other awesome TCC merch. Just go to www.talariancommunitycollege.com forward slash store. Pick up what you like. It ships immediately from TFTBA Records. Apparently, I could have opened up a mana crypt in there. I I, I didn't realize that because of the, did you read the text? It was like, can you blame me for getting this stuff like confused with it? You like the confusion? I, I don't know about the confusion. I it's just, it's a lot of information, everyone. I hope you had fun. It's a, it's, it's a cool set. I hope I didn't sound down about the set. I, I don't know. It's just so much. It's so much stuff. Hey, are you ready to return, to return, to return, to return to Ravnica for Ravnica Remastered? Because it's time to start return to return to return to return to Ravnica Remastered, Remastered content. It's nine Ravnicas in one. TalarianCommunityCollege.com forward slash store. I'll see you in, in Ravnica, which starts yesterday, I think. I have to drink like five more of these before bedtime. <sighs> oh, and also Card King. Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. Today, we are drafting not just a vintage cube, but a paper vintage cube. Not just a paper vintage cube, but a powered paper vintage cube. That's right. A collection of some of the most powerful cards in Magic's history. I love it. It's like a my own personal museum. Current Magic has got nothing on Dark Ritual oh. and the Hypnotic Specter. Yeah, I was born a few years after it. I thought you were going to say you were born from a dark ritual. <laughs> yeah, that's just, she was. Just look very closely at these two cards. Why is this banned and not this? Tap one, I'm going to Elvish Piper for a Massacre Worm. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Blighted Colossus when it hits the graveyard, reveal it, and I shuffle it into the library. So at least I get a shuffle. Uh, up and play. Right. I'm gonna open and play. <laughs> Don't make me up and play. Yeah. Don't make me up and play. <laughs>